Welcome to SO36 Berlin, where I have Alex from Despised Icon with me. Uh, first of all, Alex, um, would you care to tell me a little about the uh, year 2018 for Despised Icon? <laughs> You're looking at it right now. I mean, we don't get to tour often. Uh, our prior priority is at home, even though the music, the band, everything's very important for us. We're trying to, you know, achieve that balance between the work life, the family life, the touring life and whatnot. So uh, the bulk of our touring is for the first half of the year being mainly right now in Europe. And for the rest of the year, we're mainly just going to, you know, slowly but surely write some tunes, you know. Okay, yeah, you've been touring Europe this month, so how has the tour been? Uh, tour has been uh, way past our expectations. Uh, thanks for everyone. Thanks to everybody that showed up, actually. Uh, lots of sold-out shows. Um, I don't know, just a great time in general. Uh, every night I ask the same question, who's seen us before, who's you know, seeing us for the first time. And it's, it's cool to see uh, a lot of people that are, you know, fresh and unfamiliar faces that have actually never seen us live before that got into our band after we broke up or uh, got into us with beasts and, and so on and so forth. And to see all the diehards come out of the wood woodwork. So to see that, that balance of old and new fans is uh, actually uh, uh, quite motivating for us. So uh, yeah, we'll keep coming back as, as long as you guys keep coming back for sure. <laughs> Yeah, I, you are known as a really hard-working and hard-touring bands, mm -hmm. and you've been touring with a lot of different bands. So uh, what have been the most memorable gigs and most memorable touring partners for you? Uh, dude, I, uh, me personally, I've been extremely lucky, you know, touring with Despised Icon, touring with Obey to Brave. Uh, my friends and I have, have, you know, seen a lot of different countries, you know. Uh, it's been quite an experience. Um, uh, uh, good memories that come to mind, you know, we played, uh, the Spies Icon, we played our first Never Say Die ever right here, uh, in, uh, in Berlin at SO36 in this venue, so, uh, Ben, our guitar player that's been us, with us for 10 years, more or less, his first show was right here, uh, with the Spies Icon, so, you know, everywhere we go, there's always the, the nostalgia factor, remember when we did this, remember when we played that, but, uh, Right now we're out here uh, making uh, some new memories, so again, thanks to everyone that's been coming out to this tour, it's been sick. Okay, and uh, what about Montreal, your hometown? Uh, seems that you always uh, start and end in there, so uh, how important is Montreal for you? I mean, home is where the heart is, man. Montreal is uh, where we grew up. Uh, we all started in the Montreal death metal scene. Uh, you know, um, Despise Icon for the first two years of our career. When uh, our first record came out, uh, it was uh, m the bulk of our shows or touring was mainly in Quebec and Montreal. You know, it took us a while to uh, get out of our city, but our city uh, was there first, you know, showing us support, giving us the motivation that we needed to, uh, you know, uh, go elsewhere. So, uh, yeah, I mean, home is home, man. What else can I say? <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, you disbanded in 2010 and uh, came back together in 2014. Mm -hmm. uh, what changed during the break? What's different now? Um, as I said earlier, we've been we toured quite a lot, and and it's an amazing experience. But uh, uh, back in 2010, uh, our mindset at the time, after you know six years of touring full time around the world. Uh, and us being in our early 30s or late 20s, we, we all had that urge to uh, experience other things in life that had nothing to do with music, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, a lot of us had uh, great career opportunities, a lot of us uh, wanted to start families and whatnot. So, uh, you know, we started the band together, we decided to end the band together. And... Uh, and somewhere along the way, you know, music is, is amazing, you know, we love it, but uh, at some point it... it, it, it you know, it's it, it's just like a, a job, you know, and it sort of took away some of that magic that uh, got us into the scene in the first place. And we sort of lost some perspective, lost some focus and uh, breaking up and taking that time away from the scene, from the band. Uh, you know, we, we barely saw each other for a few years. You know, we I, I feel like we all needed a break. Uh, everything was in good terms, obviously, but uh as I said, we, we were roommates for like six to eight months at a time, you know, for multiple years. So at some point, you want to experience other shit, you know? So uh, took a well-needed uh, 
resting period. You know, I say resting period, but back then we were broken up. I, we, it wasn't some master scheme to break up and reunite after six years, you know. Uh, it's just, it was done. But uh, we started missing it. We realized how uh, lucky and fortunate we were to, you know, play music, be in Germany. We were in Poland yesterday. Like, when you take the time to really uh, think things over and, and keep things in perspective this is amazing you know and this is something that not a lot of people uh get the opportunity to do so we owe it to ourselves to you know experience this to the fullest so um yeah i guess that little spark that went missing it, it's back you know and, and as i said we're playing 15 20 shows a year so every show counts and that's a great feeling uh you already mentioned uh, starting to write new music uh, your latest album Beast came out in 2016. Mm -hmm. So, uh, any idea when a new album will be out and what kind of music will we hear? Uh, the music will be Despised Icon for sure. Um, you know, the thing is, we're back obviously and we want to keep touring, we want to keep creating and, you know, putting out new records and, and, and all that, but, uh, uh, we want this to stay fun. We no longer want to be preoccupied with a very steady, rigorous timeline, you know. All right, the record needs to be done for this day, so we're ready for that tour and this promotional campaign and all that. Seriously, like, all that's great, but, like, it's kind of uh, negative to our uh, creativity, if I could say. So we're just trying to keep th things light, uh, uh, keep things fun. And uh, slowly but surely, we're going to be writing music. We got three songs so far. Um, and uh, when it'll be ready, it'll be ready. So I don't want to, you know, create a demand or get people waiting or something. Will we have a new record? Yes. When? I don't even know. So stay tuned. Okay, yeah. Uh, I read somewhere that uh, you think the Beast album as a commentary on the state of world and music today so uh what is the state of world today and uh how would you like to change it um you know what i, I don't want to go get too political or anything you know obviously things are, are tense you know we're in canada we live right above america you know whether it's you know the whole thing with america and and and, and, and korea just uh the cold um cold war and whatnot it's always escalating um I don't know. It's just uh, I feel like sometimes uh, we have our fingers our fingers stuck on the self destruct button. Unfortunately, uh, as people, but there are you know a lot of things, a, a lot of good uh, that we need to uh, acknowledge and focus on as well. You know, for me, this band is 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 an outlet for everything that's negative, every obstacle, uh, everything negative that that you experience yourself or that you see in everyday life. Uh, to me, it's it's a way of turning that negative energy into something positive, something constructive, which is death metal, deathcore, whatever you want to call it, you know. So whether it's for me, music, or for people at home that are playing hockey or, or into science or whatever you love, you know, invest yourself into that and, and uh, the world will be a better place, I guess, you know, if we apply ourselves. So, but yeah, I don't want to dwell on, on negative shit. So next question. Yeah, okay, so what about the state of music today? Um, obviously, the industry is changing. Uh, and, and uh, you know, with uh, CDs being more and more obsolete and whatnot, you know, record stores closing everywhere, CD sales are dropping. Uh, everything is a lot more instantaneous, disposable nowadays. You know, you listen to an artist today and tomorrow he's just old news and it's... Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, but then again, there's a lot of cool shit. Like, uh, as far as my revenue is concerned, uh, streaming sucks. But as far as uh, Alex Arian, the, the musician, uh, the artist, uh, the, the creative person, I think it's awesome. Like, uh, I'm revisiting a whole bunch of classics that, uh, you know, I lost along the way, moving into various apartments, tour after tour and whatnot, and, and revisiting old classics, but also discovering a lot of new artists, you know. I feel like a few uh, years ago, I was always stuck into that nostalgia, like, oh, things were better in the 90s, fucking mad ball, suffocation, biohazard, obituary. But you know what? There's a lot of fucking young bands out there that are amazing there's a lot of new cool shit that's being done right now and and i love it that's what streaming has done for me i i, I get to discover so many artists now i just go on apple music and and uh you know i i, I geek out I, I'm, I'm like a nerd you know um 
I, I just picture myself when I was a teenager in my room just listening to records, and now that I'm 37, I started doing the same thing again. And it's, it's quite refreshing and it's quite inspiring. So, again, a lot of people uh, tend to say negative shit about music nowadays, but uh, I think it's wonderful, you know, to each their own. You know, a lot of people uh, see negative uh, shit and trap, you know, but I think it's just a reflect of your society, you know. If you don't like it, don't don't hit it, you know, just play the shit you like and let people be and let people enjoy whatever they like, you know, the internet, you know, the, the social media is such a poisonous fucking environment, man, like, everybody's always competing to be right, you know, it, it's not necessarily black or white, right or wrong, you know, everybody's entitled to their own musical tastes, so fucking lighten up, man. <laughs> Amen to that, thank you so much, and uh, break a leg tonight. Oh, sick, thank you. Yeah. Thanks, man.